Volume of cones. How are volume of cylinders and volume of cones related? So let's take a look at some pictures of some cones just to jog your memory here. So you know of ice cream cones. Maybe you've seen cones, you know, warning cones that you've seen on the side of the road. And then in math classes and such, you might have seen different types of cones uh, that look like that or maybe like that. And so we're going to be talking about those kind of shapes. Um, cones that have the square, I'm sorry, the circle bottom there, okay? So the volume of a cone, what fills up a cone, okay, uh, we figure it out by taking the radius r and noting that right here it's one-third the area of the base and then you times by the height. Okay, so that's the big one there, one-third. And so we, we see it like this in textbooks or you can even write it like this. This looks really familiar if you take this part out, right? That should look familiar to yesterday's notes. And the only addition part here, the only part that we're going to go ahead and um, apply to this formula is the one-third of it. Okay, so remember radius is the radius of the base. The height is from the center of the circle straight up to the top of the cone. Okay, so let's find the volume of a cone. Given this information here, we're going to plug this in. All right, so let's recall. Remember, volume is equal to one-third the area of the base, that's pi r squared, then times it by the height. So in this case, we're going to take pi, 3.14. One-third stays the same. Radius in this case is 3, so I'm going to put 3 there and square it. And then lastly, I'm going to multiply by the height, which is 6. All right, 3 squared, I exponents first, so I get 9. And then I just multiply everything. What I would do is I'd multiply these three and then divide by three. Make things a little easier for you. I got 56 and 52 hundredths inches cube, cubic inches, would be the volume of that cone. All right, now we're going to go sideways here. So find the volume of this cone. Well, look, I tried to throw you off here. I gave you a diameter. I gave you all the way across this circle. So remember, the diameter, if the diameter is eight feet, that means the radius is going to be half of that, which is four feet, right? So from the center to the edge is four. I could go either direction. All right, and that's going to be important because we use it for our formula here. That goes into right here, into the radius. All right, so 1 third times pi, 4 squared times 12, because 12 is from the center to the top of the cone. Even though it's going sideways, that's how it goes. From the center of the circle, this is the base down here, and it's just going sideways. All right, I plug in those numbers. I, I do my exponents first multiply my three numbers together, and then divide by three. I get 200.96 cubic feet. Composite volumes. Okay, to find composite volumes, find the volume of each 3D figure, and then add them together. What do I mean by composite volumes? So let's take a look at some composite shapes. So this is a composite shape because I have a cylinder on the bottom here with a cone on top. Here's another composite shape. I've got a sem, like it's almost a cylinder, right? It's half of a cylinder on top, and then I have a rectangular prism right below that. A salt shaker, right? It's got a cylinder with a half a sphere on top. Here's another one, semicircle, right? It's got a half of a cylinder and a rectangular prism right on top. If you've ever played Minecraft or anything, you're going to be familiar with this type of shape where you've got all these blocks and then you've got other blocks on top. Well, this is a rectangular prism, the yellow one, with a green one on top. Here's another example. I've got one, two, three. There's going to be another three there, so there's six, and then I've got the other ones on top. Maybe something else like this. So you get an idea what composite volumes are. It's going to be more than one um, on top of each other. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can find the volume of this composite figure. <clears throat> if you take a look at this, well, all right, I've got this cylinder which is six feet across and two feet high and then I have this cone that also is six feet across but five feet high. All right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split these up. I'll show you all my work all at once so you can see this. I basically took these two shapes and split them up. I have a cylinder on top and a cone on the bottom. I also noticed that from one side of the circle to the other it was six so that means my radius is three. It's half of it. So now I have all the information I, I need. I have my radius and I have my height. I go and I plug it into, remember this is for a cylinder. This is from Monday's notes. Okay, cylinders. So cylinders, pi r squared, that's the area of a circle. And you just times it by how many layers of that I have. In this case, I'd have 
two layers of this particular circle, right? So I plug it in. Radius is 3 squared. I get 9. Multiply all three numbers together. I get 56.52. Then I come over here, and this is for cone. Cones is very similar to pi r squared times height. Same thing as a cylinder, except it's a third of it. Okay? It's a third of it. So I'm going to do the same basic information, except this time the height is not 2. It's 5, right? The height is 5. That's from the center all the way to the top. And I just go ahead and multiply. Multiply, I get 47.1. The last thing I need to do is I need to remember that it was, I pulled them apart, so I have to add them back together. So I add both of those two numbers together that I figured out, and I get 103.62. All right, that's it for notes today. Uh, make sure you get all those completed. Make sure you write your questions and your summary before you start your notes.